Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, another Southampton rebuild video. This is episode number 23. We've been really crushing this, to be honest. Uh, I feel as though we've really turned Southampton into a, a reasonable force within the Premier League. If you have a little look, we are literally in pre-season right now. Um, just want to put you down to the notable highlights down there. Um, two transfers there delighted with the financial aspect of the florian vert signing and also happy with the financial aspect of the eduardo camavinga signing we have signed two absolute ballers two players who i think could be the difference from us actually really putting in a good strong title challenge um I've offered a couple of contracts uh, between episodes. I've also uh, offered some players out. If you ever look in the uh, the recruitment side of things, you know we we still got a fair chunk of change, fifty one million pound there. Uh, a few transfers ongoing there as well. Uh, let's just see where we go from here. So Benfica have completed the signing of Luca Pellegrini. For thirty million pounds, um, worried that a regular starter was sold. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but he wasn't a regular starter. If you look, first season, yes. Last season, not so much. So I feel as though making thirty million pounds off a free transfer there is brilliant. Florian Verts comes in. He is a really, really good player. We've got him for no money, and I mean, look at these statistics. 24 years old. I feel as though we got ourselves a really good player there. Um, offers have come in for Ward Prowse. He has no interest in discussing terms with any of them. Well, except... No offers for Dominguez, Carrasco and Decker. So it's no, no problem by me. I just feel as though they are not going to get the football that they really would like. Mosquera, £37.5 million. Pounds. A lot of teams are keen on him. We signed him for £5 million. I was going to use him more at fullback, but I'm not going to lie. I feel as though that is a uh, a good solid offer, and I will accept it. And what I will do at the same point is I will offer, and I will just put out for £40 million pounds just to see... If anybody, a lot of teams are interested, so we shall see. So clubs have released players. Anyone there really take? Uh, Casemiro is an obvious one, but and he is wanted by some clubs. Milik getting a little bit older. Not really anyone that's gonna. I'm not interested there overly. I mean, like Ward Prowls will probably be the only one I try and retain. Real Madrid make Endrick offer. It's going to have to be a hell of an offer. Manchester United have made a non negotiable offer for £55 million. And it can rise to 61. See, I'd be more tempted to even consider this. So he's worth 44. So in hindsight, it is a really, really good offer. But it's this that uh, needs to be more than that from my perspective. I'm going to reject that. But if they come back and they might give me a negotiable I might, uh, I might consider it. 
102 million pounds for Enric. He's worth 94. He's got some big clubs interested. We paid 23. It's non-negotiable. I think we're going to have to reject. I just want to check out the offer. 10 million. I, I can't see it being... It's not a good deal for, for the club. But who do I replace him with? I've got Makuku sitting there, which is fine. But I feel as though I can get more money for him. Liveramento has signed a new deal. I've got some friendlies incoming. Hendrick would be keen on the move. So has he now gone up to, look at that, £108 million he's now gone up to. Oh, hold on. Fulham have come in for Zier Emery. I'm going to reject that. Have I got him up for loan? Yeah, that's my fault there, I... I'm not interested in that deal. We won't sell him and you can quote me on that. If you put in 150 million for him, I might consider. Levea has rejected the loan from Real Sociedad. And Real Madrid have come in for Antonio Silva now. £80 million. Pounds. He's worth 64 We paid 25 but to be honest, he has been mustered. I think I would be mad to even try and sell him. And yet again, it needs to be more up front. I think we're at a level of team where we are good, but we're not quite good enough to possibly even um, keep hold of players like this. So we do have to try. Uh, Middlesbrough have come into loan Decker. Yeah, that's fine. We are absolutely overloaded with centre halves. LA Galaxy in a couple of days. We will get the football moving again. Ward Prowls is staying put. Now, Mosquera is going to move to Bayer Leverkusen. Now, he is a centre-half who can play right back. So, we are making a fair chunk of change on him. We've loaned him out for three seasons and we played him last season. And even if he looked last season, uh, that's not going to be the way to do that. He only started seven games. So I feel as though that this is a um, it's a sensible transfer. It just probably means that I well, to be completely honest, I don't even need to go and look for a right back if memory serves me correct, because we have Ronaldo Barbosa. 18 years old, he's come through development. If you ever look at the reports on this kid, he's a four-star right back. So, 
as a regen, we are more than happy with that there. Uh, with Ward Prowls, I am going to offer him a new contract. He doesn't seem like he wants to go anywhere. He, he wants to be regarded as a star player. He's going to be more like a regular starter, to be completely honest. I'm going to offer him the same money. No need to go mad in that respect. I would possibly consider Magno out but at the same point it um, also depends who we could possibly get in so what team are we going to pick here then no Camavinga does he make the bench he does sub 7 just seen so I might have to change a role in there to suit him. He needs to be starting for me. 3 0 win now. Inter, oh, like this is this is mental. Decker, yes. Now, if there's one player who I don't think I'm going to be even considering looking at selling, Schlerdl up is has been really, really good. Like he spent five seasons with us, he's cost me six million quid. Like statistically, he doesn't look brilliant there, but when you look here, he's 23. He's only going to get better. Um. They are really trying to break my side up here. Seems I can't get my man, so they end up going with Angelino. Norwich have come in for Decker with a mandatory fee. Ward Prowse has signed. I am going to change a role in the side to suit Camavinga. I feel as though Camavinga and um, Bamba in the middle could be really key for the club. So we're just going to have a look at Camavinga and his profile. Ball winning midfielder, but what about for this role here, anchor? Okay, so they've got Camavinga and Bamba as anchors and ball winning midfielders, which is absolutely fine with me. It's no bother. But they are the two that I feel as though need to be playing in there. I'm kind of feeling as though like the team that I am putting together here could be good enough to actually compete this season to I'm not going to say win the league but i feel as though we're nearly there uh apparently we've done something okay i've been manager of southampton for five years it's actually been a uh a very successful five years, if I'm honest. Decker is going to Augsburg with an optional.
what I do like with Vert coming in, it does mean that Zakarian can possibly go on to either wing and gives us some, some real good depth in there. Neve is injured for a couple of weeks. And speaking of Zakarian, he's out for a few days as well. So just out of curiosity, got 70 million quid sitting there just in case we do need to uh, really fire off a good transfer. I must admit, something I have been looking at, con con considering in my mind, is to be looking for a better goalkeeper. I mean, if you look at the report, so we've got some good four-star players here, you know, majority are three. In the goalkeeper department, we are a little bit light, I feel. So, I want to create a focus. I want to have a look at goalkeepers, not as a one-off, but an ongoing. Minimum current ability will be three. Minimum potential will be four. We'll confirm and we will just see what they come back with. Um, so obviously we've we've had Bizano, um De Gea and now Lafont all been okay goalkeepers. They've all done a really, really good job for the side but I feel as though I need a, a much better goalkeeper and to be honest I can wait. I can be patient with it. You know, we, we've got the money there to improve that area. So, it's fine with me. I don't feel as though we really need to improve much more there after that. Tottenham have made an offer for Levea until the end of the season. Now, for me, I can't see him playing too much. It is negotiable. So, if they want to go as an optional here, why don't I try and make it mandatory? And if I can make it mandatory, oh, this is having a nightmare. And the mandatory will be, oh, it's just not going to let me do what I want to do, is it? That's the reason why I always... Right, let's try 45. Let's just see what they say. Mandatory £17 million with a monthly fee of 1.6. So let's just put this down. I've got to, I've got to think realistically and logically. <laughs> right, let's uh let's go back to the optional. They wanted forty, we'll give forty. Let's find that was a not easy work. Let's have a look. So they're putting us at 11 to 1, which is better than Arsenal and Tottenham. Around fifth. For me, I mean, top four is always uh, the goal, obviously, with this club. I mean, I, I'm quietly confident we might be able to go one more. 
See, I put that 40 million in for Levea in the hopes that they'll probably offer around 35 onwards for the man. Bayern have come in for Bamba. And there are a lot of additional fees. And my answer is no. Surprise there's not been many more um, offers for some of my players, to be completely honest. Endrick, clear favourite with Duranville to be a top young player. Levea is going to move with his optional fee of £40 million. Pounds. In the top six for match day and ticket revenue, which is fine. I will confirm them. So with Carrasco, he, he's earning a fair chunk of change at 150k a week. So regardless, he, he will not be staying with us um, after this season. If I can get some money for him, I will certainly consider it. Um, but this will be his last season with us. Um, he's on a fair chunk of change for probably my third or fourth best winger. Got to be uh, realistic in that regard. You know, it's a lot of money, wages wise. Played really, really well for the first couple of seasons that we got him in. So, got no no complaints with uh, signing him, especially getting him on a free. It was my first real big signing for the club. I would, uh, I would have said so. And we're a week away now. From the start of the season. Intrigued to see how we start. The good thing is they've got no notable criticisms. Ward Prowls and Magno. Well, Ward Prowls is uh, probably not going to be starting a great deal. Ruben Loftus Cheek completely forgot that I sold him. Got 15 million quid. He had three, three good seasons for us, a lot of for bench. But he did well for us. I can't, uh, can't knock him. Good free transfer. Third lap is not for sale. All right, here we go. Stepping up the uh, chase for Aspria, apparently. That is not true. All right, here we go. I could be wrong in saying this, but as I said previously, this is the season where I feel as though we've got to go for this and we've got to try and go for the title. 
uh, competitive for the Carabao latter stages of the FA Cup, reach the Champions League proper, which we will automatically, and record a top half finish. For me personally, we've got to try and win the league. The Carrion is expecting to win a domestic cup this season. No promises, bud, but we'll uh, we'll give it a damn good go. So Camavinga, Bamba, it's Schlerdl up that's going to be on the bench out of the uh, the three of the possibilities. Magno easily could have gone on the right. Um, with Zakarian possibly on the bench. But this is what they're going with. Um, loving the fact that I now have uh, five players that are four stars. It's just about upping the rest and just trying to find the players that will fit in there as well. Here we go. Southampton Brighton expecting a victory. Come and do it for us. Hendrick with a couple, please. Whew. It's 5-1. It's convincing. Nothing for Hendrick. But Makuku has come off the bench and got a couple. That's a really, really good start. Really pleased with that. God of Al injured. Camavinga injured. <laughs> We've just given a million quid for uh, the Makuku deal. Just curious, because I structured a massive deal for Makuku. Does he have much left on that? Okay, so they got plenty of money. So we'll be due 2.5 million if we win the Champions League. I can't see that happening. Uh, we own another one one point six million instalment, and then it's just basically league goals. It's a really really good start though. Brighton and no mugs on this game. This year, Emery is. Is he sitting in the reserves? He shouldn't be. Ah, he's got to be moved to the senior squad. That's a my, that's my mistake for allowing him to be sitting in the reserves. Andy Brand. He's off to France on loan. Nice to have three just straight in the team of the week. Right. Okay, so Gardevoir has come out and Small is at left back, which is fine because I knew that that was going to be the case. I did want to have another look at left back, but I feel as though next season I will be looking to fill in at left back. Gardevoir will come in. One of Stones or Upper Meccano will probably be going. Hendrick sitting at four and a half stars. These types of games are the ones where we've been slipping up and drawing. This time, we have won convincingly. Seven nil. And good to see Thierry Small get on the score sheet. Uh, Hendrick with a hat-trick. Zakarian with two. Um, what a phenomenal start to the season.
this is why I didn't want to sell any of my team because I know that I've been slowly grinding and getting it to where it needs to be. It's just more of a case of just trying to get and fill around to get everyone into sort of being four four star players really three and a half stars minimum we we are getting there slowly with that Hendrick player of the week Leicester have come in for uh Zia Emery unfortunately we are not looking to uh loan him out he is a player I'm hoping will uh who will really uh come on strong in a year or two Newcastle away is going to be tough. Yes, Hendrick might be a target. Faco Sissoko. He is my region winger that I brought for eight and a half million quid. Yeah, Leicester, you can have him. I believe Leicester a championship. I might be wrong. They are. And you can take him on. Atletico Madrid are coming for Brem Worrell. Was he there last season? He was, and they won, they won a little bit more. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I can't really see... And Jan Blazek, another one that I uh, I brought region wise. Yep, I'm more than happy to let them all go out on loan. They're not really going to affect me. Okay, this is a big game. Very early on as well. Slurdle up comes in for Tellers Magno. Gardevel comes back in. Otherwise, it is as we are. I wouldn't be disappointed with a draw here. Just do not want to lose. Oh, we've conceded a last minute goal. But in all fairness, um it's a really, really good start to the season. Haven't really faced of anyone of, of note. Sierra Emery came on. And Zakarian's been the man so far. So it's a it's a nine out of ten based upon early performance. Two really big wins and then a draw which I wasn't I'm not too worried. We just can't play ourselves out of positions and be losing silly games. Five players named in team in a week. Indrik, Zakarian, Lever Lamento, Small and Florian Verts. So Sissoko is gonna go to S Sissako is going to Leicester. Worrell is going to Atletico Madrid for another season. I don't think, um, based upon this start of the season, uh, I don't think I'm going to be looking to buy anyone. I don't think there's any need. We're staying up next. There's only one result really here that we're we're looking for. Magno comes in. It's a shame. Schlurdle up is just straight out on the bench. Has he had a season like this before? 32 starts, 26 starts, 15 and 10, 18 and 7, 18 and 3. Okay, interesting. 
Upper Meccano seems to be getting more of a start instead of stones. They're carrying up to three and a half stars. Not surprised he's been playing out of his skin. Expecting a win here. Oh, and this is what I'm talking about. Um, we've had so many more chances than we lose to West Ham. It's, it's just those results kill us. And that's why, whilst I feel as though I've got the, a good enough side to win this division, that that sharply makes me realise that, yeah, maybe I haven't. I mean, if you look, City, fourth and four already. Um, we've dropped so many points already to be at this, this start of us, to be in this position, really. We need to go on a uh, a really, really big run now. And we need to start in a, a derby game. Just makes me wonder where I really need to strengthen and I do feel as though goalkeeper is the, is the main one so um, Champions League wise with so from pot one it's Napoli and Atletico Madrid pot two is Porto and Nice pot three is PSV and Olympiacos pot four is Lyon and Frankfurt not the easiest of games, but there's no, for me, no massive teams out. We normally end up playing like a Real Madrid or a Bayern or something like that. So I feel as though that gives us a good chance to uh, to advance. So there we go, straight away. <laughs> We've uh, achieved one of the objectives. Not worried about Carabao Cup draw. But we have got Newport County away from home. David and Goliath type of game. It's not good to see that. Damaged Achilles tendon. Lots of uh, transfers incoming. It's nice to see. Um, so many uh, youth players worth some some good dough. It's good to see, to be honest. Unchanged side, well, they've got to perform better this time around. Verts at four and a half. Really good. We've got to take all three here. We really, really do need to. We do. Hendrick with a 28th minute goal. Um, season six, I mean... It's tight at the top, obviously, but five games in. But uh, it could be so much better. So we've got the uh, international break now. We've also got transfer deadline day. I'm going to have a quick look at goalkeepers. So this is when I was having a look at left backs, obviously. Now I'm all about having a look at goalkeepers. Some of these lot I'm not going to be able to uh, to afford. OK, 
Okay, let's have a look on ability and then potential. Things are kind of need someone from now. Not later on. The only thing is, I mean, you've got transfer values here. And, I mean, I want a goalkeeper sort of early to mid-20s. It's not going to cost me the world. But that's probably asking way too much. I think I need them to come back to me, really. I do sit there and genuinely think about the possibility of signing another real big centre half, which obviously spells the end of a couple of other players, as in um, Stones and Upper Meccano. But I'm not sure. So, someone like that, Jurian Timber, could be a really big signing. I feel as though I don't need to to do that so I'm declining there's no need I'm expecting a few bids for some of my players See, what his reports say, three and a half. I know he's a much better player than Hendrick Young, player of the month. So it's not looking like any more bids will be coming into us, which is a uh... okay. So Leipzig have signed him, and obviously they've had to give some players up for it. Kirby's going to Luton. Connolly's going to West Brom. Diblin's going to Clermont. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's going to uh, stick any bids out for any of our players, which I'm okay with. Oh, Chelsea in an offer for Danilo. Holy cow, look at this for some money. Okay, it's worth 53 million. We paid 22. He's never really been a massive starter for me. Non-negotiable. It's 46 up front. I'm going to accept it. It's 59 million quid. This could enable me to buy someone really big in January. And Danilo is gone. Just like that. Click of the fingers. Palmeiras get 3.6, which is, and they're also they're probably going to get a 5 million quid out of that. But when you have a look on the recruitment side of things here, we've got 113 million sitting there. So, you know, that could be two really big players. Uh, could be one massive player. That will be a January decision. 
we've got a lot of depth in that midfield anyway so it's absolutely fine with me if you have a look on the uh the transfer side of things like we've 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 made a fair few whack of whack of some money there I'm uh, I'm pretty pleased with how it's all worked out. I mean, I'm selling players who are not really in the starting eleven and uh, making some good money on them. You know, if you you look at the uh, the players I've sold, Pellegrini thirty million, Loftus Cheek for uh, fifteen million, uh, Danilo for a total of fifty nine, Mosquera for forty. None of them have really been any of my starting lineup. So this is a real big opportunity in January to uh, to find maybe a player or two that can really boost my team. One will be a goalkeeper, and I think this just needs to be a goalkeeper and a left back. I think if I can start a uh, this is where I need to go I need to edit it it's got any position from tactic it needs to be something like this it needs to be a minimum current ability of three Something like that, I think. Just to see who they come back with, to be honest, more than anything. Right, okay, it's Everton in the league. We're at home. I'm expecting a win here. See, so they've just chucked in Ward Prowse in at the ankle, which is absolutely fine with me. Obviously, only a win will do. Home games have to win. Cannot slip up. We've already lost one at home. 4 0. It's pretty convincing. Definitely the better of the two teams. And uh, this league is tightening up. Look at that league. Top six there. Bayern can chase Hendrick for as long as they want. Do you know what? All I wanted to do here was to say not for sale. Doesn't look like I can do that. No, he ain't going now. He does have a release clause in his contract, doesn't he? 109. He's worth 83. I'm going to offer him a new deal.
So 190 a week. So it's a 25k and it gets that release clause out of his contract, which is pretty massive. Doesn't believe Man United can offer him a play in time or the importance. Okay, so if you look at our back line, we've got four, three players at four stars plus. So looking at there, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players at four stars plus. Love that. I'm expecting a win here against PSV. I feel like we're the better side, and uh, that's pretty convincing, to be honest. Florian Verts has been a, a really, really good signing so far. If you can see here, highest match rating and most assists. You, you look here. On the history, you know, his assists have been out, out of this world, creating a goal again. Up on Meccano, was out for a day, now he's out for three to four weeks. I think he will be the man that I look to stay. It'll probably be John Stones. I will probably look to uh, to move on. Gavardiel is staying. Brentford at home. Okay, so they're putting Bamber in at centre half, which is no problem. Nice win here. Just three points will do. That's another one of them games that we've lost. We're three nil down. We're never going to win leagues with stuff like that happening. Slurred up, got man of a match with two assists there. All right, let's see. Oh, are you going to go down here? I'm going three. Let's go three and a half. I know there's not too many great left backs. We definitely need a new starting left back. Get Gavardio in the centre of the pitch. Really left a sour taste in the mouth that loss against Brentford there. Should not be losing them types of games. Bamba still the favourite in there at centre half. We've actually gone with a really full strength side in this game, which is not a problem. The only issue is I've uh, just noticed that we've got Liverpool away next. 
buy an Eden Cape looking at him, I'm really not prepared to sell him. I'm really not. We'll skip that West Ham at home. It's going to be a tough game. <laughs> if we can't get one, they'll go for the other. He <laughs> going nowhere. <coughs> Out of all the centre offs I've got, he's the one that ain't going. Liverpool favourites, but they're not clear favourites. Right, let's see the avenue. If I get anything from this, I'll be happy. Sometimes you have to realise a point could be good. I expect a loss, though. A point would be massive. Oh, my goodness. We've won all three points. Now, that's one that we've stolen, to be completely honest. Three one up at half time. It's a great result there. Ronaldo Barbosa. The link tells Hendrik. Hendrik is very proud to be linked. You can be as proud as you want, my boy. It's going to take a hell of an offer for you to be leaving our club, that's for certain. That's a funny looking Atletico Madrid side, I will say that. Wait, to Atletico Madrid, I will definitely take a draw here. But either way, still very early doors. Hendrik, five stars I've just seen. Five stars. It's only going to put his value up even more at this rate. And the man can't stop scoring a 2 0 win away to Atletico Madrid. Keep tabs on him all you want. It's not going to do anything, trust me. We will get ourselves up to the Fulham game. Up to 64 million in the bank as well. We love that. Hendrik, young player of the month again. So, I think it's been a really, really good start. And to be honest, we've had two losses in the Prem, both at home. Uh, we've raised one of them with a, with a, a win away at Liverpool. So we need to be another big team away from home. And I'll probably call that even. But to be honest, we're sitting third in the league. Goal difference is high. Endrick is looking magnificent at five stars. Um, it's all coming up, Millhouse. End of the episode. Please like, please subscribe. Turn the bells on if you want to be notified. We'll see you next time. Another Southampton rebuild video. Have a good day.